Blaze here, back for another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Uh, this time we're going to come up here and explore this, um, this route and fight all the trainers on it and stuff. Oh, let's hit this. Um, if you basically what you need to do is basically berries, they grow on, um, trees. Duh, you knew that probably. Not <laughs> stupid. Um, and you can pick them, and some some berries um, heal HP, some heal status inflictions, some heal PP. So you just need to be. Uh... You come in here different days of the week. You can get different. You can get different berries um, all over this region. There's other places you can get berries and stuff, and you can pick them off trees like these here. Show you an example of them. Yeah, the HP replenishing ones you can um, put those on your po on your Pokemon. Same with any of these two. Can be like held items for your Pokemon, so it's pretty it's pretty nice. This up here is um, I believe that I believe that's a potion up there. I'm not gonna get that because I don't want to risk it. Um, Note that if you have Diva Berry attached to your Pokemon, you can only use it once. So, it's not like a actual held item where you can use it more than once. You can only use it once. Hmm, evenly matched. Yeah, until it outspeeds me, we're evenly matched. Yeah, I'm gonna actually switch here to um, my Mudkip. I mean, I would have went back and, and healed, but then I would have had to have uh, done all these fights. Walked, ran all the way back to Petalburg City, healed, and then filmed. So I, I didn't think it was a big of a deal. What the heck? Where'd you get a floor store from? You don't have any gym badges, do you? I didn't, you, you won't be beating the first gym leader with a zigzag goon, I can promise you that. The zigzag goon's a great HM slave because it can learn both the, the normal HMs and like surf and stuff so it's, it's great great HM slave, it's got a wide variety of moves if you want to use one for an HM slave um, if, it's just like any other Pokemon, you know, if you want to use it on your team, Lanoon, it's um, Evolution's a great normal type Pokemon it's fast, has a lot of attack um, but just like with Ninkata, you have to work with it in order to get the, to get the, 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 uh, the better um, Better, the better part of the deal if I don't put it like that. I'm going to actually try to avoid that trainer since she is avoidable. Um, she has a low tad. Uh, these two have um, low tad and Sita, I believe. This is the first generation that actually introduced double battles too. Um, I don't know if Heart... I don't know Heart Goes and Silver. I don't know if the Fire Red and Leaf Green had them or not, but... Don't, now that I think about it, I don't think they did. The only way to really kill these guys is to go right after them. Um, like, double team on one of their Pokemon, and then... It still doesn't die! What the crap? Um... So I'm actually just going to confuse on this, and then tackle on that low tag, because... I just can. And now that the C dot's out of the way, it's one less Grass-type Pokemon I have, to, I have to worry about. I want to try to avoid Grass-type Pokemon as much as I possibly can at the moment. Oh crap. I'm gonna do that. And I will use Mud Slap just because I can. Accuracy drop's always nice. And then, yeah, the accuracy drop's always nice. Mud Slap, though, has got to be by far one of the worst moves you can ever have on a Pokemon. I'm glad they did away with it as a TM in the second generation. Yeah, sorry about that, but fighting a top-notch trainer. This dude here has like three Magikarp, so I'm not gonna even bother with him. Just he just ended up making me mad. It's 
so that's it for this episode guys um the next episode we will go we'll go up here and uh tour and sightsee around rustboro city the first official city in the game great comment and subscribe guys and i'll see you next time peace